Greetings mortals, Stone Monk here, representing the Mortal Realms crew, and in this video we're going to talk about Skirmish in Age of Sigmar 2.0. Uh, we haven't had any uh, explicit or uh, you know very strong um, hints at this, but uh, we did come across in the, the release um, of the preview of Soul Wars, we did get a little bit of a preview of Malign Sorcery, and in that uh, preview, in the text uh, alongside that, we've got a little bit of a mention of what they called skirmish on the realm's edge. And when I read that, and I'm sure when you, if you read that, you're like, oh, hey, we're getting an update for skirmish. Uh, because obviously, if you think about it, we're in uh, you know uh, Age of Sigmar 2.0, so maybe they're going to do a skirmish 2.0. Well, I did a little bit of asking around uh, insights uh, and see what others thought about this. And one of our uh, skirmish friends, one of our one, um, Ray over on Facebook, had actually put the question to the Warhammer community team. And this is the response he got. He said, hey, Ray, the rules for skirmish will be fully compatible with the new edition. We know that there are some additional rules for skirmish on the realm's edge in Malign Sorcery, fighting some of the mortal realm's most unstable landscapes. So that led me to, to uh, it was definitely, you know, hey, are we going to have something new or is this just a campaign or expansion and that sort of thing? And so um, it got me thinking, though, and wanted to take a minute to review, hey, what are the new rules that are coming out for Age of Sigmar 2.0 and uh, how do they apply to, to Skirmish? Well, first and foremost, if we look at the Skirmish rule set, um, we have a very minimal uh, layer on top of the Age of Sigmar four page rules. The, here are the things that they changed. They changed one model to equal one unit instead of a unit equaling one or more models. Um, they tweaked battle shock uh, so that instead of a unit, you know, losing models, it's the whole. If any uh, model dies out of your whole war band, you have a chance to battle shock. Um, and then they removed summoning altogether. And then they had a number of add-ons that were like nice to haves, but you didn't need to use them. So things like they had extra command abilities, but you could use command abilities on the war scroll. They had artifacts of power, uh, which you could also pull from your um, the artifacts in your faction or allegiance books. They had different mysterious terrain rules, which were more suited towards a single model moving around, etc., which are really cool. They had shade spire spells, and uh, those just gave you some ability to move around, teleport, etc., uh, which, again, added a little bit different flavor for a, a small warband type of feel and individual uh, model units. And then they had a light campaign rule system. But for the most part, these three rules at the top are what they kind of modded from the core rule set. Well, so that the claim here that the um, skirmish will be fully compatible with Age of Sigmar 2.0, I just wanted to take a minute and kind of talk through that, think through that um, of what we know so far. Obviously, things could change. We don't know everything. But let's, let's think about uh, each of these rules. Um, now, over the last few weeks, these are the updated rules previews that they've shared with us. Artifacts of the Realm, Battling in the Realms, Command Abilities, Turn Priorities, Shooting, Magic casting and unbinding, measuring and pile in, endless spells, summoning, and lookout, sir. Um, if we look at artifacts of the realms, uh, these are going to be you know similar to what we've already got. We've already got bolt-on artifact lists uh, that you can roll on or choose. Battling in the realms, these are rules that let you, if you are um, in Age of Sigmar 2.0, if you choose to fight an Akshi, these are the things that are going to help kind of make it feel like Akshi. Um, it was safe to assume that these are probably bolt on, that you could choose to add them or not. It's kind of, it's, uh, it would certainly affect a skirmish game, but it wouldn't affect the core rules uh, necessarily. Um, we've got command abilities, again, something that's already been bolted on. And in this case, command abilities change because you can use multiple command abilities using command points. So that new system of using having command points for each uh, turn and um, you know that means you get one per turn. You could easily have more than one uh, hero in your warband and use multiple, um, save them up and use multiple command points in a turn uh, to get off something you know more powerful. And that actually fits really well. It would fit could fit really well with um, skirmish. You get you have a single model that is left on the board. You've got a hero and you're able to to boost them up or do something to that effect. So I think that that's going to be an easy add-on. And then turn priority is that if you are the one who um, goes, went uh, second previously, 
uh, or if you went first in the previous turn, then you have uh, you win on ties for the next turn. I think that works well for for um, skirmish. Sometimes you get uh, you know those those swings and and stuff like that. It just kind of gives you a little bit of a advantage. And so I think uh, well, so certainly for these three, I think that uh, these are just kind of bolt on. As I mentioned, turn priority seems like it works really well. Uh, summoning is just going to get knocked off. Uh, I don't think, you know, we already have that summoning in Age of Sigmar 2.0. There's so many different summoning systems that I don't think that summoning is going to make it, um, into, um, you know, I don't think we're going to come up with a new system for summoning for skirmish. Um, unless there's, uh, I mean, death has some command, you know, if there's some command ability or something that like that, that solves it for different, um, war bands in different ways. So certainly, um, you know, there could be a command ability for death. There could be a command ability for um, chaos, um, etc. That that does allow that. Or there could be some ability that brings things back. And maybe in some of these, um, we'll we'll talk about this in a minute when we get back get to endless spells. But summoning at face value is probably just going to remain out of skirmish. It would be a bonus if they figured out how to get that back in. Now, turn priority, shooting, magic, uh, measuring, and piling. Now, these are going to have, certainly have a, a, an effect on um, skirmish in ways that they don't, they, they, it's, it's going to change um, some of these, some more drastic. So, like I said, turn priority, <coughs> turn priority is going to be interesting because, um, you know, it, it's very simple, but it can keep you from getting, you know, a swing uh, in and and in skirmish, that can be more important if you got fewer models and your, you know, your opponents on in better position, etc. Shooting. Uh, so the new rule of shooting is that you do no, you can no longer shoot out of combat at other um, models or units outside of the combat you're in. So this allows um, shooting can be very effective in skirmish, especially with. Um, you know, when you can shoot at range, when you can shoot multiple times, if you're doing any kind of rend, etc., uh, shooting units are fantastic in skirmish. And so giving you the ability to charge up into them and lock that shooting unit down, I think is really good for skirmish. I think that it's much more tactical when you've, again, you've skirmish has so many more limitations in terms of what you're bringing to the table. Uh, so being able to take shooting and, and modify that a little bit is great. Um, magic casting and binding. This is also fantastic for skirmish. One, um, casting, uh, there's going to be um, the, we've got two spells, Mystic Shield and Arcane Bolt have changed. Arcane Bolt is no longer a straight D3 mortal wounds. It does one mortal wound unless it's cast at a 10 plus. So that means that um, if you, we've got some things in the, in the terrain like, um, an arcane terrain, which gives you plus to cast. And there might be other things that allow you to cast more. Um, but um, that when you're dealing with one wound models, yeah, an arcane bolt is still going to kill a one wound model. But your heroes are much more survivable against arcane bolt in skirmish, which I think is really good. Uh, it's easier. To, it was pretty easy to take out a hero um, with arcane bolt or uh, one or um, you know, over a couple of rounds. That'll be a little bit harder. Um, and then Mystic Shield, instead of being a plus one to save, is now uh, re-rolling ones to save. What's great about this in Skirmish, again, is that uh, your hero could easily be uh, get into some terrain, maybe cast, if they're a wizard, cast Mystic Shield, and now they're uh, really difficult to kill. Um, especially with these new Stormcast models coming that are going to be probably three-up save wizards. Um, them getting into terrain to, to be on a two-up um, is going to be difficult difficult enough without them getting mystic shield um so uh, it's gonna be tough but uh um but this is a little bit better um in terms of being able to kill the other uh, their the opponents uh, wizards etc or uh tanky heroes uh and then lastly measuring pile in now this one's interesting what the rule here is changed to is that instead of uh when you come to base to pace contact in aos one you're stuck there's, there's no more moving um, and your opponent your other models need to pile in around you now in skirmish what that meant is you could come up and you could tag somebody and they're stuck there that there's some tactical advantages to that uh, but now in piling in uh, the rule is that you can if you're piling in you can continue to move even if you're in base to base with somebody else but you can't end up further away from them 
but that does mean that as if I'm, you know, if I've hit, uh, you know, a model in at, uh, at the six o'clock and we're base to base, uh, I can, uh, and it's my turn to pile in and there's maybe another hero or another target to, that I want to hit on the other side of that, uh, model that I'm in, I can move around them, still stay base to base, but attack a different unit. And that I think is good. Um, again, there's sometimes where you can lock shooting down, but now your individual units are more flexible in combat, can move around and, and um, aren't aren't stuck, um, and and gives you maybe even some more cinema, cine, cinegraphic, <laughs> uh, um, more um, you know movie like uh, and uh, you know cool looking scenes where you've got you know two warriors you know, moving around each other, flitting around, uh, you know, trying to, to get advantage on each other and stuff like you see in a, in TV shows and movies and stuff like that with the, those kind of very dynamic uh, battle combat scenes or, or fight scenes. So that brings us to, um, there's two, two more rules that, um, you know, when I initially th- thought about endless spells in skirmish, I was like, there's no way. Um, but uh, uh because this skirmish in the at the ed, realm's edge is happening is being addressed in the uh, malign sorcery book, um, it seems like it's pretty safe bet that they figured out a way to include it without it being overpowered or you know unfun. So um, that one I think is taken care of. I don't know how they're going to take care of it. Uh, we have a little bit of a preview of the path to glory at the realm's edge, uh, and what's interesting here is that. Um, they have uh, this chart here, and you can't see it, it's pretty blurry, but I think I could make out um, that, that they're using this uh, these six spells in this chart. Uh, Chronomatic Cogs, um, Brawl Spellport, Emerald Life Swarm, The Burning Heads, Ravnix Gnashing Jaws, and Purple Son of Shyish. Now, those last three, I was sure that they wouldn't because they all are D3 movement spells um, or D3 damage, and you could really wipe out a, a warband uh, pretty quickly with something like that. Um, so maybe they've modified the rules for them or they've got some, some way of doing it. Um, but, um, that being said, I, I'm going to trust that they've, they've got it figured out here. Um, but, it, but it, again, I was, I was pretty surprised. So, you know, um, endless spells are going to get figured out and it seems like there's going to be some cool, um, this idea of hunting them down, trying to capture them or, or, bind them or unbind them uh, is, is a really cool concept that was mentioned in one of the other articles and, and uh, just has a fantastic um, flavor to it. Um, now that said, um, the last one is lookout, sir. Now this one is the, how, as the rule goes, um, what it says is that if you have a hero or if, if you're shooting at a hero, an enemy hero, and they are within three inches of an enemy unit, that has three or more models that you're at a minus one to hit them. Now, the problem with skirmish is that you no longer have every model as a unit. So you can't have a unit that has three or more models. So this is one that may need to be modified um, and says that if you are within, if you are shooting at a hero within three inches of three or more enemy units. um, So that means the hero is next to their own three units. Then that lookout sir applies. So it's kind of uh, either, you know, they're ducking behind their their comrades or their comrades are jumping in front of their hero. Um, and I like this. Uh, I think this would be an easy fix, um, some uh, house rule if it doesn't get house ruled, but I'm, I'm going to assume that it's going to be addressed a little bit. It's possible that um, even though we're not going to be getting, it doesn't seem like we're going to get um, Skirmish 2.0, um, it is possible that the skirmish rules in their entirety would be reprinted inside of Malign Sorcery um, so that you're not just, I mean, it, it's a small, it's just one page of rules in skirmish for addressing that. There's a lot of other things in there, points and et cetera. Um, and they may reprint all of the points. So skirmish as it currently exists may be updated, but it's not going to, you know, um, but it is also just as likely that they may just print a campaign in here. Um, and then we house rule the lookout, sir. So 
Um, so this is what we know. This is what we know so far. These are just my speculations on how that's going to affect skirmish. Uh, I'm going to be taking a look once these rules come out, I'm going to be taking a look at renown and ruin and, uh, kind of thinking through, um, if there's any changes or, or things like that. Um, you know, what would it be like in a campaign setting where you do find a spell and are able to bind it? And maybe that becomes something that you can unleash. Uh, I'm definitely going to be looking at these different, um, you know, ways of fighting in the realms um, and how that works uh, for Renown and Ruin. Uh, but I'm just excited that there's, they are, uh, for those of you that like to play Skirmish, that enjoy that uh, way of playing, that we're going to have some really cool stuff coming down the way to help us play the games, add some more flavor, make it interesting. Um, and I'm sure uh, hopefully we'll, we'll uh, get some kind of staple upgrades, but also these new interesting and, and crazy upgrades as well. So um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to the channel for um, uh, more videos like this as we address and look at Skirmish uh, with the as the new release comes out.